Hello again, this is Corey with Cranberry Alarm RA3D. Uh, in front of me we've got a subwoofer outline in order to test our shooter at different angles around the subwoofer. So sort of tucked in this corner, maybe more uh, closer to the center, as well as different distances that our robot can shoot, maybe loft the notes into the speaker from the front. Uh, stay tuned. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. All right, so to start off, uh, we're first going to test out shooting notes with our shooter um, kind of tucked in this corner. Our shooter is symmetrical on our robot, so either the left side or the right side, the results are going to be the same. Uh, just briefly to go over our shooter geometry, we have five inch compression on the, on the note, and we have two, um, two rollers front and back, four inch thrifty bot 45A durometer um, flywheels powered by Neo Vortexes. It's at an angle of 60 degrees. So enabling the robot and intaking the note, we're gonna power those Neo Vortexes up to 60% or around about. Intake the note, and then we've got this pass off system to pass the note into the shooter. But you'll notice right away whenever we're tucked into this corner that the notes kind of just bounce straight off the Alliance station. Doesn't even get close to the opening of the speaker, so. Progressively, we're going to move the robot further out. This is sort of the middle of the right side of the, the subwoofer. See how this works. From our testing, this one is pretty close to maybe working. It sometimes clips that uh, driver's station corner or the, the edge of the, the top of, edge of the driver's station. Sometimes it doesn't, but it's not the most consistent. However, you'll see in a second, whenever we move the robot to the corner, similar to where the kit bot needs to be positioned, um, we become much more consistent in getting the notes into the speaker. One thing that we don't have, we can't demonstrate right now, is how these shots look with the shroud. However, given the, the way that the shroud is angled over the speaker, we're pretty confident that shots going in at this angle will either bounce off the sidewall or off the top and loft over. So now we're going to move the robot to the front. We're still maintaining that 60% uh, shooter power. We found that this power uh, across all sides of the subwoofer does just fine. Clean shot. However, if we start moving the robot back and we decrease the power, something that we can do is loft notes in from further away. We'll show that in a second. Spin the shooters back up to 60% speed or 60% voltage, I should say. And then let's go ahead and move the robot back and see how that fires. So you see we still clear this top bar. I would say it was a good like two inches away. We can keep moving the robot back until we hit that bar. That was very close. That actually skimmed out, hit the bar, it didn't make it in. But if we decrease the roller speed now, or the voltage, we found that we can kind of loft shots in from this sort of 20 inch, two feet uh, distance. It's risky. Uh, our shooter isn't the most consistent in terms of like 
pinpoint accuracy every time. So it does fail sometimes. However, it is possible to kind of loft the notes in with a lower shooter power. So we've showed our shooter functioning at uh, different positions around the subwoofer and at different speeds and distances. And um, we found that the most consistent, probably the fastest for everyone, is to find a spot on each, uh, each side of the subwoofer that works for you. And we also found that a single speed is more than likely to work for most shooters around the subwoofer at the different sides. Stay tuned for more videos from Cranberry Alarm on the Fun YouTube channel. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.